way back in the 70s, carbides were not necessary for your snowmobile. Most of us just used steel runners, but eventually carbides became an intricate part of the way your sled performs. And Glenn Welch is here today from Bite Her to explain how do we keep those carbide edges pristine so that your snowmobile performs the way that you want. Good to see you, Phil. Good to see you, Glenn. Welcome. It's snow. It's winter time. It is. It's cold. <laughs> we, uh, we started out a few years ago uh, with our first product which was our, we call our standard series portable carbide runner tool. Uh, the way the tool works is it has uh, embedded diamonds, these are industrial diamonds, on the cutting surface. This tool is designed to work in a cordless drill at the speeds a cordless drill turns. It gives you portability, you can sharpen at home, you can take the cordless drill with you, sharpen at the trail side, sharpen at your hotel if you're staying overnight, um, or even on the trail. Uh, this tool used as a maintenance tool will give you well over 40 50 sharpenings and you've got a couple of accessories to be able to do this on the fly as well how to prop the sled up but also how to run it right off your sled's electrical that's, system. that's correct this year we came up with an accessory our 12 volt carbide grinder turn the switch on and you can do it trail side using the battery from your sled to sharpen your carbides if you get detoured down a road uh, a few miles, you lose your edge, you're ready to put something sharp on, you're riding in lousy conditions, you can take a few minutes and resharpen that edge anytime you want. You've got a few different uh, tips here. If you could describe the different, the, the different tips we're looking at here. We do. Actually, um, besides our standard series tool, we get into our professional series tools. Our professional series tools are designed for someone uh, like a, uh, a repair shop. Um, someone with a family that has a, a, a lot of snowmobiles. These tools are designed to run at higher RPMs, something that a die grinder, uh, electric or pneumatic style die grinder would allow you. The other tool we came out with was a stud sharpening tool. This tool also is a professional series tool. This tool goes into, again, a die grinder. This tool goes around your stud and will sharpen your stud up, giving you a better edge. Uh, than the original tip that, you, that your uh, stud came with. Well, here's something I love to do, and that's take somebody else's sled, get the carbides nice and dull. So how about we take your sled up and down the road a few times, we'll dull them, and then we'll come back and sharpen them. Sounds like a good idea. So Phil, when we sharpen um, using the uh, standard series portable uh, tool, uh, basically once you get it into your cordless drill, it's very easy. Uh, wearing your safety glasses, you want to hold the drill perpendicular to the carbide, and you want to run it, you want to run it along the length of the carbide. Get the drill started. The trick here is smooth, continuous motions. Let the diamonds cut the carbide. Uh, you don't need to exert additional pressure. Uh, it'll do a great job and that's all you need to do to put a fresh edge on your carbide runners. While you're holding on to your drill, there's something holding up your sled. What is this product and what is it called? This is the Bite Harder side support pole. This is another accessory we came up with this season. It's a great product to hold your sled up while you're sharpening your carbides, inspecting your track, or looking at possibly sharpening your studs. And after all this, it's time to go in the shop and let's try sharpening some of those studs with the air tools. Sounds great. Phil, what we have here is a stud that's got a few hundred miles on it, 400 kilometers maybe. Um, you can see the carbide tip protruding from the end of the host material on the stud. That carbide shank is actually uh, 3 eighths, uh, half of an inch inside the host material. So there's plenty of carbide in there. When that carbide tip wears down, such as in this carbide right here, our carbide stud, you see that the tip is gone. Hence, you don't have any carbide grabbing into the snow or the ice to give you the traction you need. What Bite Harder has developed is a uh, carbide stud sharpening tool that will remove the host material, expose the carbide, and resharpen it to a new tip. Keeping in mind that wherever that carbide top is right now, we will not make the stud any shorter. We're just gonna bring that carbide to a nice pointy tip. So one of the reasons that we've done it here in the vise today is uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, obviously you can do this right in your track. We recommend you to do it in your track. It's very easy to do. You lift the back of your sled up, um, index your track as you go along. You can do 96 studs in about a half an hour. Four times around um, on the removal of the host material, four times around on sharpening it, 
um, you're literally doing about uh, 15 seconds worth of work per stud. Um, the nice thing about this is, rather than having to replace the stud once the tip is worn down, and we all know that studs are between three and four dollars a piece nowadays, um, is that you can use this tool to sharpen your studs in your track. Um, we have uh, a dealer that's been using this tool and he's reporting that he's got over 1800 sharpenings with the tool without seeing any wear from the tool at all. Um, when you start doing the math on that, you start looking at well under 10 cents per stud versus your three to four dollars to buy them new. So it is a great alternative and the tip that you put on there is just like sharpening a number two pencil and it gives you a lot better edge that's going to grab into the ice and the hard pack to give you better traction in the long run. So today you've shown us how to increase the performance of our carbides and our studs and also increase the performance of our dollar. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. It's a great opportunity to show the consumer how our tools work, let them know how effective they are. Thank you again very much, it's been a great pleasure. Great time, stay Thank sharp you. on the trails.